my friends, so are you wondering if higher education is dead? I mean, you're going to college or university, or maybe you're thinking about it, or maybe you did, maybe you're thinking about your kids, and you're wondering, is it dead? Is it really worth spending the hundreds of thousands to go to higher education? So we're gonna talk about that in a second, but first, this. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and I help attraction marketers like you generate residual income from course income strategies. So higher education, you know, it's university, it's colleges, and of course around the world it's different. The United States is probably the most expensive education system there is out there. You know, other countries like I'm in Canada, you know, we have a free college, but university we have to pay for it. It's, I'd say it's like half of what it would be in the States or even less, maybe a quarter. And then there's some other countries out there that it's free. But whether the education and, and is, is free or not, there's still the question, is, is it teaching the right things to our young minds, right? And I was listening to Danny Eine. He's, uh, he's the author of several books. And one of his books, um, edu and I'll have to look up the name. Actually, I put it in the description there. But in that book, he talks about how the education system, you know, has been changing over the years, has been, you know, doubling in price over the last decades. It is becoming super expensive and how more and more people are more and more jobs are requiring educate higher education and that means more and more people are going through the education system to get the, those degrees so that they can get those jobs and because more and more people you know they're saying the statistics now is like 20 percent of everybody that gets a job has has a higher education certificate and you know because it's higher than it dilutes you know the value first for educate for uh, for uh, for businesses, you know, that looking to hire somebody, and it also um, makes it less, well, it makes it less valuable, right? So it makes it less important to have that degree, and maybe you have to have a bigger degree, a better degree, you know, going to Harvard versus versus a community college or things like that, right? Where you spend 400000 in your education versus 50000 right? So, of course, a $400,000 education is supposed to be better than a fifty. And it'll be better in because of the brand, because of all sorts of different things, because of, because those those education systems do teach things that maybe the colleges don't, and they have you know a better uh, alumni system. Anyways, all these things they still have value, but the thing you have to question in is is whether that is what people are you know people need, right? The education system whether it's teaching or a thing or not. And the thing is, one thing that he mentions, and I totally agree with, is that it doesn't matter whether we believe, like as entrepreneurs, right, we know that there's lots of things that are taught in, in education that our kids need to learn, that we need to learn. And lots of that's not taught because it's all theory and everything else. But bes that's beside the point because Education will always have a value because the more and, and, the, and the, the systems will always produce students that people want to hire if they do it right. And that's going to improve over the years. And the price is going to go up. And the, 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 the danger is that, you know, 20 years ago, you could have an education at a university and pay off the loan after four or five years, right, of working. Today, you basically, if you go to your university, you're basically going to have a, a student debt almost all your life. Right, and they're saying that that's gonna, that's not gonna get better. It's gonna get worse. So, you know, the the educators or um, employers are gonna have to pay more. Uh, anyways, it, it's a mess. It is a mess. And is it dead? It's not dead. I nobody nobody will say that it's dead. The what is happening though is that a lot more companies are starting to value self-education they're starting value you know like for example there there's the he was talking about GE that put in place GE University which is basically you know training for their employees because they needed to learn things that the education system didn't teach them that had to do with whatever GE you know thought their employees needed to know right so that became what some companies, are, lots of companies are doing that now. You look at LinkedIn training, you looked at Udemy, you looked at, you know, even my port portal that I'm putting together. It's going to be, that's what it's all about. It's about putting in place education that's geared towards the employer, geared towards the, the discipline, geared towards the, 
the environment that the person's in, their exact, their skills, their, 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 their tasks that they have to perform, right? So that isn't, you're not gonna learn that in a university. They're not gonna put together a university course just for you know, GE employees that do accounting at GE, right? It's too specific. So that's, so that's gonna separate. I mean, what needs to be taught in universities and, and, and colleges, obviously that's not the, the discussion here, and, but that's gonna have to adapt too. But there is an immense, an immense opportunity for anybody who's, who's trying to teach anything or even wanna be part of the, 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 the movement that's happening right now, the e-learning boom that's happening right now that is just, just growing. You know, you should want to be part of that because anybody who's online, who's trying to build a brand, who's trying to do a personal brand, who's trying to do attraction marketing, who's trying to, to build an audience, and you know, you're going you're gonna to be part of that no matter what you do, whether you, whether you embrace it or not, whether you, you know, take action to make some income from it by, by taking part in affiliate programs, by, by, by selling other people's courses or promoting other people's courses or by making your own courses you're gonna either benefit from it or you're just gonna see it go on by, right? So, the higher education, is it dead or not? It's not dead, like I said, but it's not, it's not, you know, healthy, if you will, right now. But because so much of the society believes in it and is writing on it and investments are in there, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna change much in, for the next, you know, 50 years, right? So, we gotta just let that be but then on the side, we gotta build what you know the industry needs, what the educators need. Well, not the education, but the employers need. What the employers need, what the what the the, the the workers need, the kind of infrastructure that they need to support their employees, and that the employees need to learn the skills to support the employers, right? So those are the things that we're focusing on here at Course Income Secrets and in my brand as well. And, you know, that's just what has to happen. All right, so hope you enjoyed this message. And if you think anybody else needs to hear it, of course, go ahead and share. They'd appreciate it, I'm sure. And I will too. And we'll see you in the next video. Have yourself a wonderful day.